Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Anna and today I'm going to be painting some grizzly bears or brown bears. First off, I'm kind of forcing myself to make this video because I was not happy with the outcome <laughs> of this uh, sketchbook page. One of the reasons why I wasn't happy with it was because I pretty much only used one color, like one base color, like you can see what I'm using for painting the base color for the bears, and that's the same exact color I used to paint all of them, and I don't know why I did this. I think I was being a bit lazy and didn't want to mix another color. And sorry if you hear the fireworks going off. Happy 4th of July! But yeah, I just, I was not happy with the outcome of this because I was lazy with the colors. I just wasn't feeling it. I think I used too much water for sure on the bears because I wanted the colors to blend in um, with each other. But I didn't even do that. I didn't use any color to blend in with the base color. So yeah. That's on me. You'll see later on in the video, I try to fix it with pencils or what else did I use? Uh, line art, uh, outline pens. And it did make it look slightly better and bring out those details, but still I didn't, I still didn't get the fuzziness and the scruffiness I wanted to show in the, these bears. I wanted to have a scruffy and furry texture, if that makes any sense. I think next time I'm going to try using some of my oil pastels that I have to see if I can get in that extra texture that I want. But yeah, I thought I'd still share this footage with you guys because I don't want to give y'all a false narrative that I uh, paint. Everything I paint is awesome or it looks nice and not not all the time it, it, it's true it's not all the time can I make perfect art it's gonna it's gonna look like like poop sometimes and I think there'll be a time again where I will be able to make something that I'm happy with eventually but for now I'm gonna have to go through the poopy face in order to get to the nice happy phase I guess that's waiting on the other side for me enough about the poopy talk let's talk about some of these cute bear sketches though uh, before I painted them obviously um, I was really happy with them I looked up on Pinterest because I wanted to do some bear studies and also it kind of made me think of the times when I visited Gatlinburg Tennessee or Pigeon Forge Tennessee and we would go to, what was it, Kate's Cove. And there's bears you could see, there's deer, and maybe some other animals if you're lucky. And several years it took us to finally like go at the right time to see the bears. Because every time we went they were like getting ready for hibernation or something. And the last time I got to go see them it was springtime. And I got some nice pictures of them on my camera or at least I got one but I think now well, I wouldn't say nice I now I think about it, it's very pixelated <laughs> because I had no idea what I was doing in Photoshop at the time and I should have probably enhanced that image a little bit better but anyways in Pigeon Ford you can go see black bears I didn't paint black bears but I, I did paint these cute brown grizzly bears because I, I like painting with the color brown, as you can see. As I'm looking at these bears, they kind of remind me of Little Bear. I don't know if you guys ever watched a Little Bear. What was it on? I think it was on Nick Jr. or something like that. Um, yeah, <laughs> that was one of my childhood shows. And so these bears kind of remind me of Little Bear. And I really liked that show and the art style. It was, oh, it's nostalgic makes me think of cottage core and just just living off the grid and having to like 
grow your own food and, and hunt or like fish for your own food. And it makes me think about like my family, like my grandparents, they have a little farm and garden in the backyard. They don't have a lot of property, but um, it's nice. There's some chickens. There's a little tiny cornfield. What else have they grown? They've grown squash. They've grown peppers, jalapeno peppers, red peppers, green peppers, tomatoes, basil, I think cilantro. Um, let's see. I can't remember if they've grown chives yet. I know ha they have lavender and they got some flowers there to keep away some pesky bugs so they don't destroy their crops. And I think that's just awesome being independent like that, being able to grow your own food and just and, and even harvest your own ch uh, chicken eggs and stuff like that. It's I love I, I, I love thinking about what it'd be like to be a farmer and and being able to grow stuff. I've I've tried growing things and it just it doesn't work out for me. I, I tried growing peppers and I get, get them to sprout. I germinated them in a damp paper towel and left them in a dark place and they sprouted and then I, I transplanted them into the soil that they were supposed to go in. And uh, it was going good for a while, but then I think I shocked them from the cold. I'd put them outside way too early because we still had cold nights that were in like the 30s or 40s. And then I also forgot to water them, so yeah, they they shriveled up and died. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I don't have a green thumb. I tried doing it again. I tried growing peppers again, and the, I tried germinating the seeds the exact same way, and this time they just got all moldy, and it was disgusting. So... I think I'm gonna just stick to house plants because I'm having good luck at like growing them, propagating them through propagation boxes. And surprisingly, I haven't killed any of the plants that my uh, one of my friends uh, gave me. She what was she gave me? She gave her a mother of a thousand succulent, and that plant is doing well. It's gotten huge because they were just little sprout little sprout leaves on them and now they are they, they got like maybe half half an inch in size uh, the leaves are that big now compared to what they were before and I, i'm i'm happy i was like okay this was successful because I, I kept it very humid i kept it in a to-go container and i just spritzed it with uh with water with a little spritz bottle and so that's been working out. It's been liking the humidity and I kept it in a sunny area. I, I put a south facing window because I have an overhang with my roof and my the way my house is built. And so it gives it shade so it's not directly in the sun. So that's nice because I noticed when I use my east facing window, they still don't get enough sunlight, even though it's summertime, it's weird. I mean, I guess it depends if they're towards the back of the house. I, uh, yeah, if the sun's if the sun's rising and they're towards the back of the house on the east facing window, somehow that I guess the back area gets more sun than the front ish area the southeast facing window. If that makes sense, I kind of scrambled my words there. And a random change of topic, I'm going to be vending another market coming up in about two weeks on July 16th on a Tuesday at 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. I will be selling some stickers and prints and what else? Uh, Keychains, magnets, and handmade uh, sock plushies. Let's see, what else? Oh, and I have buttons that I recently made. And then I started working on Shrinky Dink um, plastic to make keychains and other things. So I hope you guys will enjoy those. Maybe I'll post, on, uh, post about them on Instagram or TikTok soon. I also created a new sticker sheet and a new print that are some whale sharks that I really 
loved painting and drawing. I, I drew it first in my sketchbook and then I did the rest of it digitally on Procreate. And I did some refinement there and now I have them ready to go to get new homes. So if you're interested, go check out the link in the description. Well, it's about that time where I don't know what else to talk about. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!